name is Shannon Rose and today I'm going to be doing a tag video. My friend Haley Seagar tagged me in this like forever ago. It was probably like over a month ago, but better late than never, right? Sorry this took so long to get up. Here are the questions. The first one is, share the story of your last kiss. My last kiss was right before Travis just left for the gym three minutes ago. What is my biggest body insecurity? <laughs> like my whole body. I have multiple body insecurities. I'm sure no matter how much you weigh, you have some type of body insecurity. I think my biggest one is my stomach. I feel like if my stomach feels like bloated, that's like the one I try to hide the most. So probably my tummy. What has been the worst day of my life? I've had a lot of rough days. Ugh, that's a hard one. Probably my car accident. That was a pretty, pretty bad day. Share an item that has sentimental value to me. Um, well, this necklace uh, Haley sent me, so I really like it, means a lot to me. Also probably my engagement ring. This just means more to me than most people probably think, knowing that somebody wants to spend the rest of their life with me, and that's what this represents. That probably means, probably means the most. What is my weirdest or grossest habit? Oh, I like to uh, Snapchat when I'm pooping. I don't, okay, I know that sounds like so gross, but I don't know what it is, but I just feel like that's when I have time to like do stuff and like snap. So I'll like snap my friends like while I'm pooping or just like snap. I have no shame about it either. I will like full on be like, I'm pooping, but other than that, like what's up with you guys? It's something I do when I'm alone, masturbate for sure. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me to masturbate when there's like other people like in my house. Weird, right? Post a screenshot of your current desktop. You get jealous easily. It depends. I think like with my friends or my family, no, not at all. With Travis, no, he doesn't make me, like do things to make me jealous. I think with boyfriends in the past, like they would make me jealous. I think they did it on purpose because they were insecure. So maybe in the past, not so much anymore. I'm pretty confident with myself. Do you go commando? Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> Every day. I hate wearing underwear. They're fucking annoying they go up my ass like I literally hate underwear I have a bunch of underwear and I'll wear them like if I'm on my period or if I just like want to walk around my house in my underwear so I own them I wear them sometimes but most of the time I'm not wearing underwear how big are my boobs I am a 34d or 32d I'm sorry how would you describe your self-esteem um I think my self-esteem is pretty good for the most part definitely gotten better as I've gotten older Describe a person you dislike who currently annoys you. He's handsome, he has blue eyes, dark hair, sexy as shit. He's at the gym right now. What are you most worried about? Um, dying? I'm not even close to doing all the things I want to do in my life. What attracts you to another person? Positivity. People that are positive and happy and have like a good outlook on life and make you feel good when you're around them. That's like something that attracts me to other people. What is my current relationship status? Engage, bitches. What is the reason behind my last breakup? Easy, drugs. <laughs> he was a drug addict. He stole from me and he lied to me and he was cheating on me. That calls for a break. Up. So sad too because he was a model, gorgeous as hell. He got into drugs. I mean, I knew there was something going on, but obviously, drug acts don't do drugs in front of you and they don't tell you about them. I learned the hard way and it really sucked. Everything happens for a reason, right? The zodiac sign I'm a Virgo. My birthday is September 16th. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, multiple times when I was younger. Last time I was insulted, probably two seconds ago. I don't know, I haven't checked my comments yet. Last time I kissed someone, I already answered that question. Favorite pickup line? I don't really have a favorite pickup line. Do I have a celebrity crush? No, not really. Do I shower every day? Yes, girlfriend, I do. <laughs> I don't wash my hair every day, but I definitely shower every day. If the person you like says they like someone else, what would you do? punch him in the fucking face. I better not like somebody else. <laughs> I'm about to marry you in less than a month, bitch. What is your idea of the perfect date? I'm pretty mellow. I think going to dinner and a movie is like totally satisfies me. When was the last time I felt jealous and why? Uh, last time I felt jealous was when I was looking on Instagram, looking at a picture of someone's hair and really wanting it and so jealous that I didn't have that hair because it looks so damn good. <laughs> Some sexy hair, let me tell you. Would I ever date someone off the internet? Haven't I met on Match.com, so yeah. I'm actually marrying someone off the internet. Would I ever marry for money? This is such a good question. I have dated very rich, very rich 
men. Not by choice, just like, it just happened. I wasn't like out searching for rich men. Definitely not the type of person. The majority of guys I've dated have all been totally broke and I'm more attracted to those guys and I'll tell you why. The guys with money, so fucking controlling that it makes you crazy. It's nice to be able to like, have nice things and live in nice places and be able to buy whatever you want and get treated way better than you normally would because you have a lot of money. That's all fun and games until you're living that life and realizing that you married money. You didn't marry love. So that love may not be there. And you can try to force yourself to love someone with money. If you're just like with them for money, I believe that you can do that. At the end of the day, you guys, like when we fucking die, we can't take the, our material things with us. You know what I mean? We take our memories with us. And I think being happy surpasses money any day. Now, I tell you what, the first time I will marry for love. If that doesn't work out, I'll marry for money. <laughs> I mean, money is great, but it's definitely not everything, and I'd much rather, at the end of the day, be completely, totally head over heels in love with somebody, because you can live in a fucking shack. As long as you're with the person that you love, you're happy. Trust me, I've lived in fucking mansions, driving sick-ass cars, buying anything I wanted, and I was the most miserable motherfucker I knew at that time. You know, and everyone was so jealous of me, and they're like, oh, you're so lucky, you're so lucky, and I'm like, bitch, I'm miserable. I'm miserable. <sighs> Anyways, that was a long-winded answer. We drink a lot during the week. I drink a lot of water and juice and ginger ale. <laughs> I don't drink, so. My favorite place to go when I'm stressed, I like to be at home in the comfort of my own home. I don't like to be out when I'm stressed out because I am very prone to panic attacks and anxiety attacks, so I feel like being at home is the best place for me or like with family. So that concludes the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much Haley for tagging me. I am going to tag some of my friends down below. If for some reason I didn't tag you down in the description box and you'd like to do this tag, it is open to everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah! Today I'm going to be telling one of my stalker stories. So if you are new to my channel, uh, I used to do porn. <laughs> I don't know how other, like what other way to say that.